make Kentucky Derby Jockey's Silks Cookies. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture, where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you how I decorated these Jockey's Silk Cookies. I use different techniques and I hope that you like this tutorial and let's get started. Add my cookies using a Christmas sweater cookie cutter, and then I'm gonna make some changes. Okay. Now I am going to transfer them to my baking sheet. Here ready. I already preheat my oven at 350 Fahrenheit degrees. So now what I'm going to do using a flat knife, I'm gonna cut out this part. Also, I am going to cut out this part, okay? And then I'm gonna make a little dent here. When you're going to do this one, be very careful because this mat is very delicate so you don't have to go all the way down, okay? So now it looks more like a hockey jersey than a sweater, right? Now you can see how different one cookie looks from the other, okay? And we use the same cookie cutter. And this is why I always tell you that you need to be very creative in your cookie decorating and in your baking because from one thing you can make another one completely different. So I'm gonna continue doing the other one. So first, I started by preparing flooding consistency icing. If you click the link above, that's a very good tutorial on how to do it, okay? So I'm gonna tint it in white. Now, I will let my icing set for a little bit. Then I will be able to pop up the air bubbles on the surface. You always need to cover your icing because it dries super fast. I used bright pink food gel color to make this icing. I 
I am going to use a little bit of turquoise. <gasps> My cookies are ready. I have to take them out of the oven. For these cookies, I am going to outline the design using white icing that I put in a pastry bag and I'm going to use a decorating tip number 1.5. For these cookies, I am going to flood them using blue and white icing. I am going to make some big rectangles. I am going to put the sleeves in blue as well. For this cookie, I am going to use pink and white icing. When you're going to make a wet on wet technique, both icings need to have the same consistency. This is very, very important. So now I am going to cover the center part of this cookie. I always wonder why the hockey uniforms are so bright and modern. I don't know. I have to find out why they like to use these kind of colors. There must be a story behind that, I'm pretty sure. Now I am going to dip the wood stick on the white icing and I am going to place it where I want to make the polka dot. So as you can see the circles are very very nice and this is a technique that you can use a lot in cookie decorating.
And this is what I found out about the history of the jockey silks. For these cookies I'm going to use a faster technique that you have seen me doing in some other tutorials that I'm just going to use the spatula. And for the other one, I'm gonna put white and blue. Now, I will let these cookies dry completely. Later on, I'm going to make the final touches. to make some black diamonds here in the center. I made this uniform inspired on last year's winter seal. Kentucky Derby cookies and also I'm gonna leave you the link so you can go and check it out. Okay, this is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. If you are new here in my channel, please subscribe and if you are one of my subscribers, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and leave me any comment, question or suggestion. You can follow me on my social media and don't forget that you always need to be very creative in your baking and in your cookie decorating and see you until next time. Bye bye.